So the second game of this bank holiday weekend, 5-0 winners against FC United, you have to be delighted. Absolutely, uh, overwhelmed. I think you'd have liked to have been a fly in the changing rooms on the wall. Um, we, we, I wouldn't say went mad, but we, uh, we certainly were happy in terms of the, the first half performance result. Um, unbelievable. But in terms of performance, I, I, I thought we, we didn't control the game. But it just shows you the quality we've got in the changing room um, and in this squad to, to come in 3-0 at half time and, and be disappointed with the performance. So six games into the season now, we spoke in pre-season about how we'd hit the ground with some speed. Did you expect to have maximum points and 24 goals after those six games? If I said yeah, I'd be a liar. Um, you, you want to get as many goals and as many points as you can. This is a very, very competitive league. I've been seen in the first six games. We've dipped in and out of performances in 90 minutes in our previous five, six games. But we found a way to, to win. We found a way to build that momentum and, and obviously finish sides off. And we're scoring goals in abundance and may it continue. Dudley's come into a fine vein of form, scoring in both games during this weekend. He came into the squad seemingly due to other players having to drop out, but he's sort of made a name for himself now. How hard is it to change that again? I think as managers, regardless of what football club we've ever been at, when you trust a player and you, you can recognise how good he is and we know his ability, we train with the kid twice a week, so we know exactly how good Anthony Dudley is. However, sitting on the fence and from the outside when you don't know him, he might be at a gauge of um, an opinion on Anthony and, and, and people have said, oh, he's not what you said he is. Listen, he, he, Josh come out of the squad Saturday due to illness, which allowed Anthony to start, gets two goals, unbelievable performance, and then led the line today, unbelievable. Now, big shoes to fill when you're, you're Anthony Dudley and you've seen Jordan Hughes' performance over the last five games, but I thought he was outstanding today. As we've gone on, we've said defence is what's important, and although it was 5-0, FC did have some chances in that first half and in the second half, and the team kept a clean sheet. How important is that? You're always going to concede chances actually on the football. It's at times the football we've seen, it's end to end. Uh, we try, we, we we bang the drum about control. Sometimes it's you know you can't control, and the opposition will come in and out of the game. And and listen, I, I think FC for 20 minutes of the first half was very good and controlled the game without actually doing anything. Uh, whereas we went 3-0 in at half time and probably missed three big chances as well. And I mean like one on ones. So yeah, you know we we we've just got to continue to do what we set out to do, and that's try and win every game of football. And there is going to be sort of stumbles along the way. But it's how we it's how we react and learn from their mistakes. So going into the next weekend, it's a small small break from the league. Going to the FA Cup, what are the expectations going into that game at Morpeth? We'll go there and we'll see next Saturday's game as important as any other game this season. Every game, game by game, is as important as the last one and the next one. We uh, we'll, we want to win. We want to we want to progress in the FA Cup as much as we can. We'd love to to take Radcliffe to the highest position, and, and by doing that, you, you know you've got to get over that first hurdle, which is going to be a tough tough game away at Morpeth next week.